Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to the lecture series of waste management. Uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss about waste storage. So majorly we are focusing on the various type of containers and the storage space which are available in the vehicle and uh, different uh, aspects regarding the waste collection. Okay, these and all the things we are going to discuss about in this particular session. Uh, moving on to the discussion. First of all, I will I'll be convincing you that why uh, the containers are required. Of course, the containers are mainly, uh, it's a part of like a waste storage. Okay, we have to store the waste temporarily. Okay, uh, because uh, at the after generation point, the waste has to be stored in a temporary container or it may be like a particular vehicle. We have to store for the time being. Okay. Uh, because vehicle, uh, they are for the transporting system, it will come only one, uh, like once in a day or twice, like twice in a day. So at that time, what we can do is uh, we need to store the waste in a temporary position. For that purpose, we require waste storage. That is the meaning of this particular topic. Examination, you may get the question like explain uh, the waste storage, explain the significance of waste storage, or what are the two aspects of waste storage? Okay, so uh, like uh, these are the probable questions. Uh, that is regarding for exam point of view. The waste storage en encompasses proper containers to store the waste and efficient transport of the waste. That means there are two aspects of storage. One is container, other one is collection vehicle. Okay, moving on to the discussion. Uh, I would like to discuss about the container. We'll First, we'll talk about container. Later, we can go for like a transportation. Container is actually, we can call it as storage bin. Generally, we call it storage bin. So the main purpose is the like uh, we have to store the waste for the temporary purpose. Uh, the selection of container will merely depending on the quantity of waste generated. That means the amount of waste generated. There are varieties of containers available. Small container, large containers, stationary container, whole containers, ultimately commun communal container. If I talk about like a small container, why it is required? It is suitable for a single family, independent houses. For large containers are suitable for like a residential unit, com com gated community, commercial unit, institutions, industries, or large, these large containers are required. Some containers are stationary, we cannot change the position, located in a storage site, especially in case you can see nearby the street. How containers are actually, uh, it is mainly suitable, there, is, there are like a movable part that you can move as you can observe in the diagram it's a whole container so that you can directly move there are wheels by using that you can move from one position to another position communal containers uh, they are actually uh, located at the public cross public uh, places especially nearby the bus junction bus bay etc uh, if i talk about the communal containers the capacity will be in the range of one to four volt meter cube and uh, it is movable also uh, like uh, communal containers are established at the high waste generation area also if it is like a hoisted com uh, like communal containers the volume is very high in between 12 to 20 meter cube okay the collection vehicle keeps an empty container as a replacement before the house build container the systematic uh, like replacement is required okay otherwise uh, the there is a chance for overflow that particular waste so regarding some mechanism you can uh, use for transferring the waste from communal container to vehicle also, it is advisable to keep the communal container for every 100 to 200 meters. That is uh, like uh, one of the strategy we are applying. You can see like uh, every 200 meters, the, uh, there are like a communal containers required, especially in abroad and all. Uh, it will be very like uh, so many number of communal containers. Every like 200 meters, uh, they are establishing communal containers to keep the waste uh, in a systematic fashion. As far as the economic con uh, concerned, you can maintain the gap of 200 meters. Okay. So that is one of the better initiatives if you are maintaining properly. So the main drawback is like a poor maintenance and uh, people are actually not supportive for that lack of crew may help or responsible for sweeping. Even it may burden for the like uh, uh, crew members those are cleaning or uh, it is like a most of the cases it's a failure only but uh, if everybody think in a positive manner we can make the communal container in a successive fashion so regarding the collection second part is collection vehicle we completed with the container storage bin the second part of the storage is collection vehicle two things i explained one is container that is over just completed we studied about where the various type of container why they are using what are the need for that Okay, the, uh, once it is done, once the discussion is completed, let me move on to the second part of the storage system that is called the collection vehicle. 
collection vehicle also will keep the waste temporary the purpose of collection vehicle is to uh, transfer the waste from uh, waste generation area to transfer station okay we require we require uh, obviously we require vehicle okay uh, there are varieties of vehicles are available okay the selection of the the usage of vehicle the uh, so that that will be depending on the area mainly area where the like uh, what kind of vehicle is required where to uh, move first that depends on like uh, uh, area territory and a type what kind of waste is getting produced those things you have to remember so collection vehicle actually move from like a uh, waste generation to transfer station also from transfer station to disposal area Obviously, vehicle will keep the certain base for like one hour, two hour depends. Also, it's a, a area, uh, one of the part for storing the waste temporarily. Small scale collection vehicle, muscle powered vehicle, non compactor truck, compactor truck. These are the varieties of collection vehicle which are available. Usually, we can categorize cat, we can categorize collection vehicle into three categories. If I talk about the small scale area and muscle powered vehicle, so it's a man powered one, even uh, animal powered. Okay. So it is more economical because uh, uh, there is no fuel is required. Fuel charges, we can save the fuel charge, but the capacity wise, it is very small. small uh, second one is called a small scale collection or muscle powered vehicle. Okay. Uh, that is already discussed. Like even small rickshaw, cart, etc., are very suitable. It is suitable for the densely, thickly populated area where the uh, uh, road is very very narrow where normal kind of vehicle cannot be admissible over there and collect the waste accordingly the drawback is capacity is very less uh, also uh, like a human effort and animal effort is required but we can advantages we can save the fuel cost and the space space second one is called a non-compacted truck so if i talk about the non-compacted truck uh, the thing is the capacity that is 10 to 12 meter cube there is no enclosure uh, usually, uh, the distance between the disposal site and collection area is in between 15 kilometers. Okay, we are not applying any like a compactor, compacting mechanism. We are directly dumping on the particular uh, area where the waste is stored temporarily. Uh, we are uh, not applying any pressure and saving the volume. The capacity is 10 to 12 meter cube. Okay, uh, that means we are not using any mechanism. The diagram depicts the uh, non-compactor truck in the in diagram. It's very clear that the vehicle is there, like uh, the storage for the waste is just like an open and we are not using any uh, like a uh, compaction if i talk about the compaction vehicle uh, we can save the space by applying the pressure hydraulically or pneumatically operated machine or also you can see different partition like a glass uh, then like a paper there are so many partitions so collection of waste will be more systematic uh, there are different mechanisms like pneumatically operated, hydraulically operated. So there are different mechanisms to reduce the volume by applying the high pressure. So it's uh, some cases there are partially enclo enclosed. Uh, here you can see like a, a compactor vehicle. Uh, so the, there's a mechanism you can apply the pressure and you can adjust the space. The main advantages are uniform. La uh, it is large. We can uh, store large quantity. There are cover. So uh, like uh, relatively visually inoffensive everything is most comfortable waste is set out by containers so that crew can pick them very quickly and uh, sorting and uh, uh, process concerning the transfer station become very easy i'll let you know what is transfer station in the forthcoming session kindly pay the attention at that time health risk to uh, collection and order to the street are minimized that is another uh, advantage even the aesthetic beauty of the particular area can be improved and the waste is relatively inaccessible to the waste pickers so collection operations are divided into like a movement of collection crew and a collection vehicle routing these are the most important part of collection collection operation first of all we require a crew members driver laborers those who are working for collecting and moving that particular waste uh, then collection vehicle routing where, which route is actually most convenient based on the principle of shortest path the transportation problem uh, like uh, if I talk about like a movement of collection crew in India, lowest income group join as a collection crew. That is a general fact. It's a temporary job. Maybe like a salary will be like a daily, daily salary, daily wages and a, a teamwork is required for that. So we need to consider the motion time, the technical, technically we can say motion time measurement, MTM. MTM is a technique to observe the estimate the movement of the collection crew within the help of stopwatches. At what time they started the journey and at what time they are actually transferring the waste from waste generation point to transfer station. That time we are supposed to measure. So proper monitoring can be assured by using the CCTV camera within the transfer station, within the generation sta waste generation point or within the vehicle. 
a CCTV can be established and it can be monitored systematically. Likewise, uh, the tabular form we can mention. At what time uh, the arrival? When the departure takes place at station one number one? How many kilometers they have run uh, from one uh, generation station to transfer station? How many number of containers they have filled up? And the collection time required? And the trip time to the next station? Likewise, proper recording has to be maintained. This is one of the formats. There are so many formats available. Regarding the collection vehicle routing, like there are different type of routing, like the macro routing, micro routing, districting, etc. So we, we should have like a proper uh, routing plan. So macro routing is nothing but the, in macro routing, it is also referred as the route balancing. It comprises of dividing the total number of collection area into different routes. Uh, that means it is sized in such a way that to represent the day, daily collection for each group, like dividing the total collection area into different, different routes. That is actually called the macro routing. If I talk about the micro routing, it is a result of uh, macro routing. It's a subset of macro routing. Uh, micro routing can be defined the specific path that the queue and collection vehicle will take each collection of a day. That is a difference. My macro routing is actually whole uh, route is divided into different different segments. Micro routing is actually like a specific path where to reach a particular destination. So if I talk about the districting based collection in a larger area, we are following like a districting. So here actually representing the route, okay, like a macro route and micro route. So in case of macro route, we are dividing, whole uh, kilometers will be divided. Uh, so this much of hours, we are supposed to visit that place A, then place B, place D like that. But the micro routing is not like that. Like uh, uh, we can say like a, a specific path we are going to define and we'll visit over the, uh, like a, a point B uh, suffers most amount of waste immediately, we'll point out and identify. So we can like, uh, it's a sub subset, we can say like a subset of macro routing. Both are different only, but uh, macro routing means a division or and their kilometers will be divided. So districting actually collection for the larger area. You can see like some pictorial representation to uh, like how the collection will be taken place from different, different points, how the movement, the arrow represent the movement. Okay. So in this session, we mainly focused on uh, what do we mean by waste storage? Storage comprises of like a containers and collection vehicle. Initially, we have talked about the containers, different varieties of containers that you can cite in your exam point of view. Later, I have discussed about the collection vehicle, like a uh, like, you know, small scaled uh, uh, muscle powered vehicle. Later, when non compactor truck for non compactor vehicle, afterwards, compactor truck. These are the things we discussed in this session. Let me know if you have any question related to this particular topic. That means collection, collection operation, etc. So if you like, uh, if you don't have any uh, clarification, I will be proceeding uh, further. Along with uh, like a uh, uh, store uh, like collection vehicle, I have covered collection operation also. Okay, these are all the things uh, we discussed in this session. So thank you so much for watching this video. Ha happy learning. In the coming session, I'm going to discuss about transfer station. If the video is pleased with you, uh, very pleased uh, from your side. If you are interested in this video and if you require a similar kind of uh, lecture series, uh, you can put up in the comment box. I'm uh, happy to answer back and I'm going to uh, provide more videos related to waste management. Kindly don't forget to share this video with your friends and uh, relatives. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning.